I'm in the southern region of Manitoba here at Lake of the Prairies. It's been an extremely hot summer with lots of plus 30 days. Right now you can see the lake has tons of algae blooming. It's not optimal but this is a prime destination to try and catch some walleye. We've been having a couple days of lots of rain and a little cooler temperatures. Hopefully that is enough to get these big fish to strike. We're heading north here on the lake in the kayak. Start fishing under that bridge right there. Move along the rock shelf on the south side and the north side of the bridge. Rocks from the shore are always a good indication that crayfish and other bait fish will be hiding in between the rocks as well as you always want to look at the slant of the slope that usually transitions to how the water is looking underneath the surface. We're gonna cruise around here. We're gonna find a nice spot where there's a nice drop off close to shore. Lots of fish. That's a huge cloud of bait fish right there. Perfect destination. We're out of the wind in the shade from the sun. Overview on gear I'll be using today. This is the Garmin Striker 4 portable unit. It has a suction cup transducer. This here is a six foot six Berkeley Cherrywood graphite rod. Uh, ultra light tip with 20 pound braid on my old school Shimano reel. On that I have a 10 pound six foot fluorocarbon leader. For hooks, the Neon Moon Eye, my absolute favorite, the 3D holographic eye, ultra glow. Uh, gonna pair that with a Stinger rig hook that's gonna go on there with the chartreuse green three inch minnow always a good idea to have a uv flashlight to glow it up hard to see in the sun but that thing is going to be very bright under the water quick how i bait this setup simple once we got the stinger hook on and our grub attached take our minnow right to the tail like that so it's flat like that and so so even if they bite the minnow or the grub boom they get the stinger and if they eat the whole thing they get hooked Fish on. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice looking eye. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ah. Get in the boat, you silly guy. Oh, a beauty. Lake of the Prairie's walleye. Oh man, beautiful yellow colors. That's awesome. Yes. 24 inch walleye at two pounds. Oh, there you go, swim away. Woohoo! That was awesome. Yes! Yes! Oh, yo! Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is amazing fishing. Back to back, oh, get over here, you silly guy. Yes, oh, another great sized walleye. This time he got caught on the stinger hook. That's a sweet looking fish, get him back. There he goes, woohoo. Pretty gray, looks like it might rain. We're gonna go back, grab the rain jacket, chill out for a bit, maybe have lunch, and then continue the day. The lake's even calmer now after that little front came through. Very cool, very, very cool. That was pretty darn cool. Like I just dropped it right under the boat and not too sure what it is. Ooh, can't see there's so much algae in the water. Oh, nice walleye. Yes. Another beautiful walleye here at Lake of the Prairies in southern Manitoba. Let's get him back. Whew. There he goes. That lure setup works amazing. Try it. Super important to have braid while doing this. Braid has zero stretch, allowing you to feel everything that hits that line. Fluorocarbon leader as well on the end of that will allow you to have the bait as the most natural presentation it can. Fluorocarbon is completely invisible under the water, so it's important to use those both in conjunction to catch a very nice fish. Oh, just like that, that's awesome. 
What the hell is this thing? No way! Rock bass! That's a rock bass! <laughs> Look at that! That's awesome! Wasn't expecting that. Nine and a half inch rock bass. There we go, bud. I think he absolutely smoked a bait like half his size. <laughs> no way, another one. An absolute another one. This is, okay, this one's bigger. This is for sure a walleye, not a rock bass. Uh, <laughs> how? Yes! Oh, yes! Epic! Oh, look at that. I love those spikes. So cool. Another nice healthy walleye. About two pounds. A lot of big walleye in this lake. Ranging around that size. That's pretty darn cool. That's going to be it on this walleye episode here at Lake of the Prairies. Super fun day using that little setup. I hope you go out and try it as well. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. See you on the next one. Yoo.